Welcome back to your Carolina firefighter owned and operated company. West Broad Apparel Company is here to show off their apparel line and tell us about their new fundraising project for firehouses all over the country. We have Russell Davis here with us to get us all straight on what you guys are doing. Russell, good to see you. Yeah, nice to be here, man. Appreciate yeah, you having me. I know you were meant for this business, yeah, the TV it. business. That's so we're going to we're going to be talking. What is West Broad and how did it all yeah. start? Um, so uh, the thing, me and me and uh, my two partners, uh, we are full time firemen for the city of Greenville, right here in the city. Thank um, you for your service. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but the West Broad name uh, was actually born from our West Broad station. Uh, it was our headquarters station at, that opened its doors in 1938. Um, and it was right here on Broad Street across from the Peace Center. Um, and the reason we went with the name is uh, I can take you to a firehouse anywhere in the city right now. And uh, any individual that had the pleasure of working at this station, you know, all I got to do is say West Broad. And they just kind of light up like Christmas and talk about it the, the way it used to be mm -hmm. and things like that. And uh, you know, for a young guy, it just, it means a lot to watch those guys talk about it. So that's kind of the premise behind what we're doing is keeping the tradition alive, kind of trying to keep the name of, mm -hmm. you know, that firehouse doesn't exist anymore. Right. Uh, you, you see how much green was growing. And, um, so, so anytime that, you can yeah. bring up that name, it kind of brings up some of the nostalgia. Absolutely. Of that. And Absolutely. people are probably surprised to find a young guy that was interested yeah. in like such a traditional, yeah. something Absolutely. that has some tradition to it. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what the fire service is about. I mean, there's a long-rooted tradition um, that, you know, we're just trying to keep alive. And, right. Um, you know, we like to think of ourselves as more than just an apparel company. I mean, we like to stand on what what our name means and what right. we're trying to do with it. So you're, so. Kind of, you're using apparel to be a sort of historian in a way, to kind Absolutely. of tell the story of the fire station. Absolutely. So, well, take us through some of the things. Yeah. You do custom work and you do some things yeah. that kind of uh, pay, pay tribute yeah. to what was back at the West Broad Station. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so one of our biggest ticket items is uh, the, the not, the, we call it our 38 special. Uh, <laughs> we took our WB logo and put 1938 on it just to kind of pay tribute to the West Broad mm -hmm. Station. Like I say, it opened its doors in 1938. And, um, but yeah, the, it's our passport design. Uh, what the passport is, is um, on the front of our helmets, we have a shield, a leather shield. And in Inside of that shield is a passport, and that passport typically has like our individual number. So, like me, for instance, my number is 266. Um, so you'll commonly see me wear a passport hat with 266. Mm -hmm. That it's my individual firefighter oh, that's number. Specialized to you. Absolutely. That is yours. Absolutely. So what uh, what we did is. Um, you know, we, we got some koozies for Christmas about a year ago, and I, I was looking at it. It was made out of hose, and, and the wherever it was purchased from, they just kind of wrote <laughs> our number with a Sharpie. And I was like, man, I wonder it's like if we can do be. something. We can do something yeah. better than that. So long story short, man, I went out and bought a, my wife thought I was crazy, but I went out and bought a $500 embroidery machine. I figured out I could do it. She's like, Russell's yeah. at it again. Oh, gosh. That's exact. She's <laughs> laughing right now. Knowing exactly. That's what she said. Um, and uh, yeah, I taught myself to embroider, and uh, here we are seven months this later. This is great. So th yeah. these all can be customized if you have someone Absolutely. that has like a, is a firefighter, or police officer, yeah. somebody, you can kind of have those customized. Mm -hmm. yep. And of course you did the York Carolina hats up there, yep. so even if you have a business Absolutely. or something, people can mm -hmm. reach out to you for those. Absolutely. Absolutely. Big orders, small orders? I mean, uh, big. We, uh, we're actually working on our biggest order to date right now, <laughs> which is roughly 300 hats for Congratulations. an apartment. Um, we'll, I'll keep that under wraps as kind of a surprise <laughs> what department that is, but um, yeah, I mean, we've we've done lots of local departments. We've done departments like Powdersville Fire Department, we've done Dunklin Fire Department, we've done Taylor Fire Department. Um, we just, we, all, the upstate has just been so supportive, it's, it's right. just unreal. Well, what a great way to build like yeah. team, like camaraderie and oh, like man. synergy with between like firefighters yep. and the yep. service co community too. Absolutely, so. and what we've done for a lot of departments is we've actually taken hoes that they've used, that they retired, and we've actually made their hats out of their hoes. Cool, so yeah. recycling that and absolutely. Uh, really cool. Yeah, absolutely. And does some of the money kind of cycle back into? or It, it does. Um, so we just started uh, about two weeks ago what, uh, what we call the West Broad project um, and so primarily we, we do screen printing and la laser engraving as well and so what we're doing with the West Broad project um, you know it how many times have you encountered that firefighter standing at a red light with a boot you know trying to get money and what a lot of people mm -hmm. don't know is that money is going towards equipment needs or, mm -hmm. or whatever they just can't fund with the money that they've been getting right. um, and as much as firefighters don't mind getting out there doing that you know it, it, it's still kind of a like we're, They'd rather be doing yeah. something else. So I'm with sure. the West Broad project, what we've done, we've got our first one going on right now. You can check out at westbroadapparel.com. We're doing the West End Firehouse right here in the city. Um, but it's just kind of a t-shirt drive. And mm -hmm. what we do is we take the money, the profit that's made off of that, and we give it back to the firehouses. That's great. Um, and so it's just a, a neat way to utilize the equipment we have 
four fire departments. And you know, my my goal behind it in my mind is if I can eliminate a firefighter from ever having to stand at a red light with a boot again. Then you're gonna do it. That's exactly what we're gonna do. That's so, great. Yeah. Westbroadapparel.com. Yep. Jack and Megan, could you guys come over real quick as we do you're gonna have a Facebook giveaway going yes. on a little bit yep. later so people yep. can give a t shirt. Yep. After this segment, uh, we're gonna throw a post up on Facebook. We'll be giving away two of our thirty eight specials, so just go like uh, the post and just comment done and uh, awesome. that'll get you entered. Russell, I think there's something you want to present yeah. these two. I'm going to slide over yeah, to this side yeah. and let you do that over there. Yeah, so uh, oh, I, sorry, I, I, had, I made these two hats for you guys. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. my gosh. That yeah. means Jamarcus gets to pick his yeah. own. Yeah, oh, well, actually, that one is yours. There you That's go. the first Any South Carolina we've ever made. Close? I told him oh. South Carolina was more of my speed. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yep. So now we're all decked out. I love it. West Broad Apparel. Russell, thank you so much and thank you to your whole team behind the scenes here. That absolutely. made all this happen, uh, and thank you for all the work that you do to keep us safe and, yeah, and everything here in the city. We Thanks appreciate you. All right, coming up next on your Carolina, what's for dinner? We're going to be headed to the chef's kitchen for a family fun recipe that you can try at home tonight.